BBC Radio Sheffield. Make a difference. So good morning, it's Toby and Breakfast. It's BBC Radio Sheffield, live from my front room. Right, now of course is the time when Sheffield really starts to feel it, isn't it? What's the word snooker worth? To Sheffield, two, three million pounds over the fortnight. Hotel rooms should be full. Bars and restaurants should be buzzing. And you shouldn't be able to get into the crucible. It's all right, I can. I know the back door. But it's been postponed. But there is an attempt to snooker fans to get their fix. It's the latest sport to switch from real-life action. I mean, I think there's a tenuous use of the word action there. It's real-life action to a virtual world, as Mike McCarthy explains. Right now, we'd normally be enjoying the action from the Crucible as the World Snooker Championships heads towards the second round. For decades, we've been treated to sensational shots. He's going to play the double, or is he going to play it into the corner? He's going to play it, get it! some real howlers. Where's the cue ball going? Foul. Stripping and full. But coronavirus has put a stop to that, at least until the 31st of July, when it's planned for the tournament to take place. So instead, some of the best players of a snooker game are taking each other on. Welcome to the Virtual Crucible for the opening match in the 2020 Virtual Betfred World Snooker Championship. The Crucible has been faithfully recreated, as have the players. They're being represented by some of the top players of the Snooker 19 computer game as they face off for Virtual Snooker Glory. This really is tricky. Fabulous effort. That's a great pop. The first round is underway and the final is going to be played on the same day as the real one was meant to be. He's an expert long potter and he's taking this on. Great cue. The matches are being streamed online. It may not be real snooker, but it might be as close as we get for a while. Well, I love the sound of this. One man who's impressing those virtual commentators is playing as world num- number one, Judd Trump. He's a comedian, Tom Mayhew, who's through to the quarterfinals. And he's with us now. Morning, Tom. Morning. How are you doing, mate? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, well, I mean, as good as anyone can be in these weird times. But yeah, I'm all right, yeah. Great stuff. Tell us, tell us how you ended up playing in this tournament, then. Basically, I, I play quite a lot of snooker uh like online i stream quite a lot of the snooker 19 video game and the the people who made the video game got in touch and they said hey we're looking for 16 people to take part in this tournament would you like to take part and i was like yes of course i would because it's it's the closest i will ever get to being at the crucible well fantastic unless of course you play the crucible one day that's all always available <laughs> you know uh i'm not i wasn't aware of the game i've just googled it now so so this is a I mean, it looks fab. This this is a proper virtual snooker game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you if you love snooker, it's it's probably the the best snooker game there's ever been. Which, um, yeah. So if you if anyone you know loves snooker, I would highly recommend you you check it out because it's it's good fun. And so you love? Are you any good at like actual snooker? Can you play? Nah, I'm rubbish, mate. Rubbish. Yeah, uh, me I'm... too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think most normal I, people I, are rubbish. Sorry. Yeah, but I'll say that's why I love the video games because in real life I'm rubbish. But in this, yeah. when you hit in, you hit a century, and then you go back to play on the table, and you think, yeah, I can definitely get a century. I mean, you can't, but you know. <laughs> Fantastic. So tell us about the tournament. What's it been like playing in that? Really, really nerve wracking. Um, I actually do stand up comedy in, uh, or I used to do stand up comedy, I suppose, but I'm, we're yeah. not doing it at the moment. But. Um, this makes me as nervous as gigging does because you know there's going to be so many people watching. So even though I'm in my bedroom just playing a video game, I, I feel the nerves. I feel the the crucible nerves, and it's it's quite surreal, really. Man, I run the last laugh is Sheffield, yeah, and we're, we're we're feeling nervous every weekend just looking at looking at the papers. Oh, mate. I know it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, how many comedians do you know who? Li- I mean, literally, there's just an entire industry being wiped out, isn't it? Yeah, we've all gone from being busy every single night to suddenly just uh, spending far too much time on, on the internet and uh, 
trying to find well trying to find new lives that's what we're doing and, and part of my new life is playing virtual snooker it seems well and it seems that and, and you you you're playing as judd trump the world number one was that seeded or were you just did you just get judd trump I just got Judd Trump. It was just kind right. of decided. They, they drew names from a hat. Um, that didn't stop some people saying, oh, is this guy really the best at snooker? Like, I don't think I actually am the best person. Well, but, um, well you're through to the quarters. I mean, that's not bad, is it? It's all right. It's all right. And it, it does mean whatever happens, I can say, like, there was one point when I was the number one snooker 19 player in the world. So that's quite, quite a fun thing to say. Do you know what we're definitely going to do? I'm definitely going to do this. Uh, I know the people at the Crucible quite well. Whoever plays in the final as the Snooker 19 one, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it put on at the Crucible. Oh, mate, that'd them, be amazing. I'll get them actually play. They might not give us the big theatre, but they've got the studio which seats about 400, and we could put a six foot table in it. And whoever's in the final can have an actual game there. That'd be a right laugh. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be amazing. You're gonna yeah. um, you're gonna you're gonna make dreams come true, mate. Oh, uh, well, I do that quite on a regular basis, Tom. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> well, what, do you, what do you know about the person that you played in the quarters? And, well, I nearly said, what do you know about the bloke you played in the quarters? Because I just assume this is a blokey thing, but I might be wrong. No, you're you're, you're right to assume every single player is is um is a guy. I think it's a very a very well. I mean, all the professionals are male, so I, I you know I guess that does mean most of the people who watch it probably uh, or play it at least probably are male. But yeah. I, I know the guy uh, I'm going to play. He, he played yesterday. He's actually in France, so that's uh, quite in- interesting. I didn't really know there was much of a snooker following in France, but um, there must be. And, so, and is, is he any good? Have you watched him? Yeah, he's, he's quite good. He was very... Uh, in his match, he was quite negative, quite defensive, but um, I guess you can only really play the person you're playing on the table in front of you, and that's, that's what won him the game, so I'll have to... Uh, play have to play intelligently to beat him fingers crossed well listen whatever happens i mean i want you to get to the final way to win now obviously because uh, oh, i want you, you I, I, I want to put you on in the studio at the crucible we'll get a, a six foot table and and what, what a laugh that would be actually having a game at the crucible we'll do we will definitely do that when this is all over tom i, I definitely will make that happen can we get virgo on commentary as well sorry can we get John Virgo on te- from commentary as well? I, believe me, believe me. We uh, a, a big part of um, the work we do is a wonderful lady called Julie Wilson, uh, who does all the stuff for World Snooker. Um, uh, so she she can get anybody. That's amazing. We can, li- oh. we can literally get. Honestly, I'm going to make this work. This is going to be so so fab. So best of luck. Uh, when when's the when's the match? I think my next match is next Wednesday because they're, they're playing them with. They're showing um, all the virtual matches, so they'll go out the same day as when the real matches would have gone. So the final will actually be right. on the date of the final. So I think my next match is next Wednesday. So I'm just going to be spending many hours practicing. And um, and what do we do? Can we watch it live? Or do we watch it live or on YouTube? It's on. It's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. I think they put little clips of the best shots on Twitter. So if if you're on those paces, it's on the uh, official World Snooker pages and all those things. So, yeah, you can watch it then. Brilliant. Mate, can't wait to meet you when we do this at the cruise. I'm, I'm going to email them today as we speak. Don't you worry. You take care of yourself. <laughs> you too, man. Stay safe. Cheers, Tom. Uh, Tom Mayhew there through to the quarterfinals. Wouldn't that be so much fun? To get the people who are, uh, who are really good at this, playing on a little table in the Crucible studio with John Virgo commentating and everybody drinking like they used to do in the good old days. That is now my number one project. It's Toby at Breakfast. It's BBC Radio Sheffield. This Sunday morning, 